Most people think these objects are simple. They're not. Over the last 24 hours, new images from Japan, the USA, and Thailand arrived, and they tell a very different story. And now, the International Asteroid Warning Network has quietly switched on coordination mode. Not because of fear, but because the data is getting interesting. Let's start with the Japan data. This frame looks calm at first, but when you look closely, the structure is anything but ordinary. The center stays tight, stable, locked in place. But the outer glow shows direction, shape, movement. This isn't blur. This isn't atmospheric noise. This is a physical structure forming in space. Now the USA. These frames came from darker skies and longer exposures, and what they reveal is clearer. A long, thin extension forming behind the object. Not a smear, not a glitch. A real structure appearing in the direction of motion. You can see a subtle shape. You can see orientation. You can see consistency across frames. That matters. A viewer reached out and shared their own observations. Raw frames straight from their telescope. I ran a basic processing pass just to bring up faint details. Not to make it dramatic, just to make it visible. And even in that raw state, you can see there's a real signal there. Faint, yes, but not random. Now Thailand. This data came through under worse conditions. Cloud cover, atmospheric distortion, less transparency, and yet the structure is still there. A faint halo, layered, shell-like. And here's the key part. The brightness profile matches Japan, matches the USA. Different skies, different telescopes, same behavior. That consistency doesn't happen by chance. Now let's talk about the part people misunderstood. The International Asteroid Warning Network didn't activate because of panic. They activated because of observation practice. They use real objects to simulate global coordination, more telescopes, more countries, more synchronization. And this object became part of that training cycle, not because it's dangerous, but because it's difficult. Difficult objects are perfect test cases. Now line all of this up. Japan, USA, Thailand, and viewer data. Here's the consistent pattern. Stable center, directional outer material, layered structure, repeatable behavior. That doesn't automatically mean something wild, but it also doesn't mean it's boring. This is the part of space science most people never see. The in-between, the raw, the honest. This isn't about fear. It's about attention. And this object? has it. Stay curious. Stay grounded. And I'll bring you the next update when more frames show up.